Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to show you a tutorial on how to create a Chatbooks photo book on your smartphone. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and make sure to check the notifications bell to never miss a new video. Well, first of all, happy new year, everybody. It was quite a long holiday for me. Uh, I haven't been able to film any videos in the past month because I moved into my new home, which you can see around here. So that's my new surroundings, my new office, and this is my permanent YouTube studio now. If you don't know what Chatbooks is, it's a photo book company that creates these subscription style photo books, but also some custom made photo books. They're very, very popular and they're extremely easy to create from the phone because they're like these one-click photo books. I've done two reviews of the Chatbook photo books, so if you want to see the actual books and how they look, then there's going to be a link in the description below. But in this video, I want to show you how to actually create them and what you can do in the app. So there are two ways to create a Chatbooks photo book. You can do it on their website, on a desktop computer, or you can do it on your smartphone. It's a lot easier to do it on your smartphone because you can have access to all of your pictures. And also I think on the website, they have slightly limited features to some of their books. So you can have a look at the website to see what kind of products are available. But once you are in the app, it's going to be easier to create the photo book from there. And that's why I'm showing it to you uh, on the phone. So the first thing we have to do is go into the Apple store or the Google Play store and download the Chatbooks photo books app. Once the app is on your phone, just open it. And then you're going to see all the possibilities. And then there's going to be a 2020 yearbook to start. Now the three buttons in the bottom are the little house, which is obviously the home button. And then you have the cart on the right. And in the middle, you have the plus button, which is basically create a new product. If you go into the top right corner, you see the My Account section. If you already logged in, you can see all your past books or you can create an account and log in if you are new to Chatbooks. So let's click on the plus and see what we can do. So when you click on the plus, you see all the products. Now in the first section, it says ring in the new year. That's basically just a, a teaser of all the products that, that they do. So kind of a sampling of everything. And if you go down, you see the photo books and the photo books are going to be the custom photo books, which you can customize any way you want to. And then underneath that, you see the subscription photo books. And the subscription means that these books are created automatically. And as your pictures are filling up in Instagram or Facebook or in your phone, the books are created automatically and sent to your doorstep. So you don't have to do any editing at all. So the first thing I want to do is go into photo books and show you the custom one. So in the custom one, we've got standard photo books. We've got premium lay flat and designer covers. Now the designer covers can be applied both to the lay flat and the standard photo books. It's just the cover that's different, but it's the same product. If you go to the standard photo books, then it shows you how it looks and how much it is. You've got three sizes, six by six, eight by eight, and 10 by 10. Now, what you need to know about this is that you can create these photo books from any photos in your camera roll, Instagram, Facebook, and you can move them around and it's not a subscription. So it's a one-off photo book and you're going to pay just for the one book. So let's go to create. And when you press create, you have to select the book size. I'm going to select eight by eight and a cover type. And I'm in this case, I'm going to select soft cover. And then you have a book color. Now the book color is basically just the spine and the back. So you've got gray, white, and navy. I'm going to select white here. And then it shows me that the price is $15 for an eight by eight. And the cheapest one I think is $10. So, 30 pages, let's create. Now here's the photo source uh, where you need to select where your pictures are coming from. So you've got camera roll, you've got Instagram, you've got Facebook, Google Photos, Tiny Beans, I don't even know what that is, Smug Mug, uh, Flickr and Dropbox. So quite a few sources to take your pictures from, but I'm going to go into my camera roll and just have a look there into my photos. So lots of, lots of crazy pictures here. But um, let me just try to go somewhere. Yeah, just some photos here. 
So what I need to do now is select at least 30 pictures. That's the minimum for a chat books book. And I think for the custom books, the maximum is 365 pages. So you can actually get more photos than that because you can have collages now on each page. So I'm going to select 30 photos. It's very easy. Just click on the ones you want and the little tick appears. And in the bottom, you can see how many photos you've already selected. So I've got 30 and it shows me $15. If I select three more, the price starts going up. And then it's creating the book for me. Now here I can see my book options and the photos are already syncing up with the chat books um, database. And then the first thing you can do is edit the cover. That's the first thing that comes up. And if I click on edit cover, then I can select a photo from my own photos. So if I click here, I can change the cover and I can either change it for a different photo from the selection like this one, for example, use this photo, or I can select a designer cover. The designer covers are going to cost an extra $2. So a little bit of a surcharge for a cover. I don't know why, but um, they are quite nice. So let's see the designer covers. Actually, some of them are $3 I see now. So you've got loads about 2020, and then you can select all covers and then occasion or designer animals, baby, every day and so on. So lots of lots of different colorful covers and you can see the price in the bottom right corner. So if I want to select one of these, I click on the cover and OK and the upgrade is already there. So the cover changes and I'm going to pay two dollars more. So that's basically what you can do about the cover of the book. And you can, of course, change the book title if you click on that little pen and I'm going to put here test. And underneath you have a little toggle which says show title on spine. And you can also put a date range for your photos like January to December. And you also have a toggle for that title. So that's all you need to know about the cover. Very basic, you can't really do much about the cover, but you have lots of lots of designer covers to choose from and you can select one of the photos from the book. Now, if you start going down, you're going to see every single page laid out in order. The easiest thing to do is if you don't like the order of these pictures, you can long press on any of the pages and you can just reorganize them and drag them and drop them anywhere you want to. So it's very easy to reorganize pages inside the book. Now, when you look at this book, you can see that there's one photo per page and each photo is uncropped at the moment. So if I go onto one of my pages, like this one, for example, then it gives me five different layouts. The first one is fit to the shape of the photo. This means that your photo is going to be shown in the biggest possible way without any cropping. So you're going to see the picture as it is. The second one is full, which means that the photo is going to be cropped to a perfect square. So you're going to lose a little bit from it, but there's going to be no white space anywhere around. Then you've got square with a border and then you've got the border alone. So without cropping it into a square. And the last one is the collage, which is fairly new. It wasn't there in the very beginning when Chatbook started. And you can select from six different layouts if you want to put more than one photo on the page. So if I select number three, then it shows me the layout and I have to select two additional photos for this layout. So click on the photo, camera roll, and just a random photo and another one. Lovely food. There we go. So that's done. And you can also add caption if you want, and that's going to appear underneath the video. So random little text and it appears not under the video, sorry, under the photo. There we go, done. So that's all you can do on a page. Now you can do this for every single page. And of course, if you want, you can add more photos by clicking on the plus. And here it says, add a collage photo, add text page. Now this is going to be a, a unique page just with text. So it's not text onto a page where there is already a photo. It's going to be a page with just text. So if I click on that and start typing, then it's going to show me that page just with text. So if you have a story or something, you can put it on the left side and the photos on the right side or something like that. So don't confuse it with the caption that appears underneath the photo on the page.
Then you can exclude certain photos. That's more important when you go to the series books and you can request photos from contributors. So this is a very common thing nowadays in new editors where you can basically ask your friends to pitch in in the editing process. You can invite them by email address and they can start adding photos into your photo book and you can even give them permission to uh, edit the photo book with you. So it's almost like a team uh, project. And the bottom one is add photos, where again, all your options come up so you can select photos from wherever you want to. Of course, for Instagram and Facebook, you have to log in and authorize chat books to use the photos from those um, social media accounts. And when you did this and you went through all your pages and photos, you reorganized them, then you can go to add to cart. And when you press that button, you're going to see here the final uh, amount that you need to pay, so $19 in this case, you can add the gift note and proceed to checkout. And that's all you need to do. Of course, at the checkout stage, you have to put in your details, your card. I'm not going to do that, obviously, but this is all you have to do to create a custom photo book. And again, you can do a book with up to 365 pages. Now let's see these subscription photo books because they're very interesting. So let's assume that you are a mum because that's all chat books is about. Their advertising is really strongly targeted towards mums who are very busy. They have lots of kids to take care of and they have thousands of photos in their phones but they don't have the time to edit photo books for hours. So what do you do? You start um, putting your photos onto Instagram, Facebook or you just favorite them in your book in your, in your camera roll and Chatbooks is going to create these books automatically after every 60 photos and it's going to send it to your doorstep. Now there is something weird about this because I'm thinking if you don't have the time to edit this book, which takes basically five seconds, how do you have the time to post these pictures onto Instagram and add tags and all those things and then connect chat books to Instagram to take your photos from there. So this is just something that comes to my mind when thinking about time. I think it's much easier to get your photos from the phone than to put them onto Instagram and get another company to automatically pull your photos from Instagram. But anyway, so you've got four different options here, which is the Instagram series, which of course is going to pull your photos from Instagram. You've got the monthly minis, which are basically books for babies, they are smaller and cheaper, I think $5 per month. You've got the Facebook series, which pulls your photos from Facebook. And you've also got the favorite series, which is going to be photos from your phone, but just the ones which you put into your favorites album on your smartphone. So not every picture from your camera roll, but just the ones that you favorited. Now let's have a look at the Instagram one. So you click on the Instagram book, and then again, it gives you quite a lot of information about the book, which is very good. Lots of frequently asked questions. So the app is actually very user friendly and very easy to navigate in. Then you click on create. And again, you have to select sizes. When you do a series photo book, it's going to be a lot more limited and restricted than the custom photo books. That's why it's also cheaper. So they can only have 60 pages, no more and no less, uh, only two sizes, and you can't have any collages inside the book. So it has to be one photo per page. So let's select eight by eight soft cover, or maybe six by six soft cover. And it says 60 pages for $10. I think that's really cheap. So let's go create. This is not the time to talk about the price. Again, for that, watch my review. So I'm going to connect to my Instagram. So it's asking me security questions. Let me log in. And it says, hi, photo guru, you previously linked chat books to Instagram. Would you like to continue with the previous settings? Yes. So obviously you have to authorize and there is some privacy issue, but you can read through all of that if you want to. And now it says we are automatically pulling your posts into photo book. So this is when the magic happens and you just have to wait and see what it's going to look like in the end. There we go. So that was less than a minute. And now you can see every single photo book that was created from my Instagram account. So you can see from the very beginning, July, August, 2019 is 60 photos. So it um, occupies a full photo book. And then August, November, 2019, November, January, 2020, January, June, 2020, and so on. So it breaks down your photo book into date ranges, months and years. 
let's have a look at uh, June, for example. So if I click on the June one, the first thing you'll see here again is the cover, edit cover. So if I click on that, I can move my photo, crop it, and then I can change the image to something else from the selection. And I can also, again, click on designer covers. Now, when you click on designer covers, it's going to be different covers than what you saw with the custom photo books. Here, you've got some plain colors, the rainbow color series, the ripple, the rifle paper, uh, bouquet series and a classic series. So that's all you can choose from. You haven't got the 2020 and happy birthday, Merry Christmas and all these different kind of customs covers because this is a series subscription photo book. So once you're happy with your cover, then again, you can go down and now again, you see every single page uh, on this in this photo book. Now mine looks very strange because it's all pictures of photo books. But anyway, when you click on one of the, the pages, you've got the two options again. You can either have the photo full, which you can see here now. So full bleed without anything else, just the photo cropped to the full size of the page. Or you can click on the caption. It's going to show the geotag, the date and captions from Instagram. So what you put into the text when you posted that photo. You can also click on the exclude in the bottom left corner, which is going to basically get rid of this picture from the series, because sometimes you want to print out your whole Instagram feed, but maybe there are a couple of photos that you don't want to include because you didn't like them or they're duplicates. And this is a very handy function if you want to exclude certain photos from the subscription. On the right side, you've got add captions. So if you want to add again some extra text, then you can do that underneath the photo or you can again insert a full text page. Now, if I go to edit caption and I click on the caption page only, then you can see that the text is going to occupy a full page. This one is photo and text. And the last one is hide the caption. So it's just going to show me the photo on that page and done. And again, you can do this for every single page in the book. And if you drag one page again, you can move it any way you want to, if you're not happy with the order of the photos. Now, the one thing you'll see here is you can't create any collages. So it's going to be one photo per page. And if I scroll down to the bottom, I can go to the next volume or I can go to the previous volume and start editing my other books. If I come back to the main page of my series, my subscription, I can change the settings for the entire subscription. So let's click on that. And then here you see the source is from Instagram. You can see the title of the series, my Instagram photos, which you can change to, I don't know, your name or something else. The book option, which is six by six soft cover, the page layout, which can either be, as you can see, a full page without any captions or captions. If you click on the captions, you can choose from three different settings. You can include captions from Instagram. You can include the location tags and you can include the dates. So these are the three things that you can show on, on the caption page. And of course you can individually disable all three of them. Again, you can have contributors so you can invite people to add photos to your book and edit with you, which is again, a nice team project. Now, what you need to remember is that when you create this subscription from your account, it's going to be the same books, the same settings all the way through. Now let's assume that I'm starting this subscription today and it already created me seven books. Now, do I have to buy all seven of them at the same time? No. So what you can do is you can change the frequency of your subscription. So you can select one book per month, two book per month, three books per month, or you can select give me all of them as soon as they are ready. And this is a very good feature again, to make sure that you don't spend all your money on 50 photo books because you've got 10,000 pictures on your Instagram account. So you can basically catch up slowly by slowly, or you can order all of them. You can do this in your account once you're logged in into your my account section, and then you can set your subscription frequency settings. So that's basically all you can do in the Chatbooks app. It's a very, very uh, simple and basic photo book editor, but as you can see, it's very easy to control from the smartphone and it's very quick 
and painless to create photo books. And once your subscription is set up, you don't really have to do anything at all. You just have to wait for your photo books to arrive. And if you want, of course, you can fine tune every single book and you can review them. You can change them before they are sent out. But if you don't have the time for that, you can just let the subscription run automatically until you stop it. You can stop it at any time. There is no contract that you have to do for 12 months or 18 months. So it's totally up to you. And I think they usually have a, a discount where you get your first book in the subscription for free. So that was my little walkthrough in the Chatbooks app. Uh, I wanted to show you the one on the website as well, but it's so similar and it's the exact same settings. And I think the one on the phone is going to be more useful because most of us are going to use Chatbooks on the phone. It's easier, quicker, and you can do it on the train, you can do it on the bus, you can do it while you're waiting for somebody. If you have any more questions about the Chatbooks app, leave them in the comments. If I forgot to talk about something, certain features, then I will be happy to answer those. And let me know if you would like to see more tutorials like this for other photo book companies. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, subscribe for more.